Oh, hello there, and welcome. I appreciate it. I really do. You know, one of my primary focuses with this channel in 2017 is to hashtag make wrestling fun again. Because at the end of the day, when you really get down to the nuts and bolts of everything, we come on here and rant and rave about an art form where half-naked men grapple each other for extended periods of time. If you can't have fun with that, then maybe there's something wrong with you. But that's what I'm here to do, is to help all of you see the light. Help, indeed, to make wrestling fun again. And this is just another step in that process. I figure, you know, what does this internet wrestling community need? We need some class, some dignity, some sophistication, some art. And I figured, I'm just the type of guy to bring that. So today kicks off a new video series that I will call Wrestling Rhyme Time. It will be poems about assorted wrestling topics. And I figured with this new video series, you want to really hit the ground running. What better way to get this kicked off and talk about everybody's favorite, Roman Reigns. So here and now, I bring to you a Roman Reigns story, Chapter 1. I say Chapter 1 because 1 wasn't enough to contain all of the fun. There will be two more of these about Roman before this set is done. Oh yes, give me one moment please. Sometimes when life gets really wild, I like the taste of a smooth black and mild casino, for those of you that are wondering. So let me go ahead and put this out, and let's go ahead and get started, if you will. <coughs> I just dropped the lighter. A Roman Reign Story, Chapter 1. And so we begin. A former All-ACC football star for the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech, when he didn't stick in the NFL, he decided on wrestling. What the heck? He surely figured on a profitable ride, being descended from wrestling royalty. The Samoans are known worldwide to the business his heart felt an unwavering loyalty. To the developmental he would enter, Vincent Hunter wanted to see if he could become the face of the performance center under the name of Leaki. While wrestling was in his blood, he really truly was green as grass. His early NXT run did him no favors because, quite frankly, it was straight ass. Heading towards being future endeavors, his career was carrying a sad tune. So a name change was made, and not a moment too soon. His career started gaining momentum, and very soon it would become clear. He wouldn't be long for NXT, because a main roster call-up was soon near. It was Survivor Series 2012, the chosen time for his debut. Along with Rollins and Ambrose, finally, Something fresh, something new. All decked out in black, from the crowd they did appear. They came to save us from Ryback, a hell of a start to their WWE career. They loved havoc and brought chaos, seeking justice for one and all. They lived to hand out beatings in surprise, vicious brawls. We had been here before, new talent caught in burial trends. But now was a time for redemption by destroying John Cena and friends. They had a spot at WrestleMania 29 
an important victory on that show. Time to meet the next challenge, taking the tag titles from Team Hell No. So blessed they would be on the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Helms Lee, that they soon would become the mercenaries of the authority. But soon cracks would form, losing the tag belts to Cody and Goldust. It wouldn't be long, surely, for their own spotlight that they'd lust. Another Survivor Series would come, a seismic change on the creative easel. Time for Roman to shine, sole survivor like he was Diesel. It took a little while for it to become crystal clear. It was the big, strong Samoan whom the WWE held most dear. When the 2014 Royal Rumble arrived, and the plan was quite plain. How to make Roman a new monster? Have him break the elimination record of Kane. As the fans were crying for Brian, the situation became quite grave. Time for a fresh face to win it? Nah, man. Give it to the Bautista named Dave. We all believed it was time. Their group was about to end. Then a miracle happened. Their relationship quickly would mend. Wasn't time for a split. The fans wouldn't like it. There was more entertainment to come when they faced the family called Wyatt. Then a funny thing happened as they dealt with the world leader. It wasn't Ambrose or Rollins, but Roman who became the group's leader. Another WrestleMania did come. Another WrestleMania did go. Squashing the outlaws and Kane, another triumph at the year's biggest show. A babyface turn now complete. A new opponent they would find. Time for a new form of justice. Their cool villain days clearly left behind. Batista, Orton, and God Ugga. Time for some glorious political pollution. The best part of the breakfast club, the legendary group called Evolution. A fantasy wrestling matchup. You could just feel the magic. But if Evolution went over, the results would be clearly tragic. The two groups fought multiple times, and the matches were pretty nice. Hey, the young talent went over. Not just once, but twice. A great run was now over. No need to pretend. It was time for the group to come to an end. A memorable place in history for this group called The Shield. Three main event caliber stars. WWE thought the group did yield. And so Hunter proclaimed, with this uggish type glee, a last second wrestling abortion that he called Plan B. It was Seth Rollins the traitor who stabbed his friends in the back. While Dean Ambrose sought revenge, the Samoan headed down the world title track. The next chosen one was Roman, his destiny numerous world title reigns. Here comes the younger, second John Cena, causing internet fans even more asshole pains. And there you have it. Chapter 1 of a Roman Reigns story. Coming soon will be Chapter 2, dealing with his run as a singles top star in WWE. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I most certainly did. Let me know what you think, and let me know in the future who you might want me to talk about, or what you might want me to talk about in Wrestling Rhyme Time. Until the next time, when we talk more about the glory that is Roman Reigns, I'll see you later. Ooh, so smooth.